Yes, sir. Peace. What's going on? Hey, everybody in internet land. This is your boy, PWS Squire. I got my guy, Master I, in the building. Peace. And uh, this is a started from the bottom podcast special, special event, basically, because we're starting this thing that's uh, it's called On The Real. Master I, why don't you explain it to him before we get into everything? Uh, on the real, we want to keep it 100. And I know we live in a society in the land that is very popular not to be 100%. Uh, it's very popular to have an opinion versus facts. So I just want on the real to be about us questioning uh, what we've been told uh, be, to, to get us to start doing our own research so that we can gain some confidence in knowing the facts. Uh, the same facts that society are trying to turn into conspiracy theories and whatnot, but we starting to learn over time that these are facts. Uh, I just want okay. us, I, I want us to connect. And so on the real, I feel, it, you know, we from like the generation of keeping it real. Uh, I feel like on the real, we want something to be solid. So, you know, we, uh, yeah, yeah. I just feel like on the real, we want, solidarity we want solid information that we can take and really start to elevate off of i feel the only way we're going to do that is to be able to come with concrete proof which we have a lot of okay all right so that's what it is uh everybody before we get into it i want y'all hit that subscribe hit that bell notification for videos that we got uploading you know what i'm saying on this particular topic and things like that if y'all digging that man Hit that subscribe button. And uh, before we get into it, let's hit the intro. All right. All right. Again, man, this is your boy, PWS Squire. I got my guy, Master I, and this is on the real. Uh, We're going to call this a. Uh, um, this is on the real topic that we're going to continuously do this on started from the bottom podcast. You know what I'm saying? And, um, it's going to be with my guy, master. I, man, just, uh, just getting into some conversations, man. Just, just, just keeping it a hundred. Like he said, you know what I'm saying? No, uh, no beating around the bush. Let's just, you know, just put it all on the table type of situation. So, with that being said, Master I, man, what's what's popping, man? What's going on out here, brother? Man, just uh, just looking at everything. Uh, first thing I want us to uh, I would want us to question is why is there a war on our history or our history? Uh, why is there such an attempt to erase our past? Uh, why is there such an attempt? Uh, to globally restrain and, and keep us, I guess, restricted as far as our limits. Uh, why is so much work being put and done into that uh, that we can see every day? Every day we go outside, uh, we see the opposition, we feel it. Uh, and so how do we get here it, it is what I need us to start researching. How do we get to this point where the same people that built geometric structures all over the world are now the most impoverished people in the country. Uh, why are why don't we universally know uh, individuals like John Henry Clark and like Sheik Ante Dia, uh, Professor James Smalls, Anthony Browder, uh, Kaba Kamene, if I'm uh, pronouncing that, like why don't we know some of these individuals that have put a lot of work into the facts. Uh, hmm. What is war? What is war? What, what, what are considered acts of war? What are, uh, what are the properties uh, of conflict? Uh, hmm. How hmm. do we, how do we start? How do we start to question these things? How do we begin to really realize that everything we've been told is a lie? And who they want us to be is not who we are. Just naturally, without reading a book, we know this. We know we are 
highly intelligent versus the world doesn't want us to be that. Why is that such a thing? Why is our why is our water tainted? Why is our food tainted? Why is our education tainted? Why is our living situation not equal uh, in the land of equality? Like, mm. why do we beg racists mm. that we know are racist? Why are we begging them for equality? Like, so like I said, war, man, when, when you look at all the things, you know, I study war documentaries, like, they cut off your food supply. They uh, they 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 kill the shamans and the witch doctors or the healers. Uh, they kill the philosophers. They kill the educators. Uh, why so much? And how's that not war? Mm. On the real. <laughs> Man, I mean, it's crazy that you bring that up. I don't know. I mean. When it comes to war, I mean, it's not just that's and you bring a good point because, yeah, war is all different facets to war. You know what I'm saying? It's different levels of what war is when it comes to how if they're attacking you, it ain't just by guns or, you know what I'm saying? Like it's about like, you know, let's say a country overruled another country or whatever and another way of of keeping the war going is by taking the people and you know teaching them what they want them to be taught for their benefit basically in a sense you know what i'm saying and when you're talking about war and conquering people and the, the going longevity with it you know what i'm saying it's like it ain't it ain't just about shooting nobody because it's it's all it's all, it's almost about like indoctrinating someone to the point where they mentally is never never going to break the the cycle of what they've been taught based off a of generational teaching to their people right so that's kind of my perspective and i feel like once what you're saying is like digging deep into history that they not saying talking about they don't teach us about because to keep it real right <laughs> it ain't in their favor <laughs> if mm. you're talking about like i know a lot of people don't really want to think like oh yeah colonizers that was a long time ago and this and that and you know but you kind of got to look at it like well to in to you right but think about people that actually are still in the mix like you got queens and kings still out here right um that's claiming these things that was a long time ago right so you got you got to think about like well why is they still queen elizabeth or the queen this or queen that it's like why are they still calling themselves for real like that and holding themselves to that you see right. what i'm saying and it's like we you know that ain't old to them right? right and that's history and you know so when you get into things like that and you look at like okay well how's they winning you know what i'm saying that's the question it's more like okay well if we ain't in chains no more and you know and if we come to grips to where okay yeah the educational system ain't to our benefit then what like then you got a question you go okay well where is the truth or what what am i missing right if you already know someone whipping your ass telling you something and you know that's not the right way like you know what i'm saying like you 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 know it's a it's something else right? right but you still are so like you know well, I, I kind of look at it like this, like a lot of people, since they don't know and they've been indoctrinated, it's kind of it's 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 their fault, but it's not. But it is for the simple fact that when these people are doing these things, they do leave clues. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you can't necessarily say they didn't say something. It might not have been in the public in the sense of how you're used to getting information but it's somewhere they said something <laughs> you know what i'm saying and oh, yeah. that's the key in a sense of i guess you know is i always look at it like 
I remember my grandma used to say stuff like, yeah, when you go to heaven, um, God going God gonna to say, you know, I guess when he questioned you or whatever, it's like, did did you know? Right. And then right. if you say you didn't know, he's going to be like, well, how didn't you not know? Here's this example, this, exa you know what I'm saying? That's right. how it was explained to me. So I always looked at it like, damn, OK, well, it must be something I'm missing that I always got to look at. Right. And yep. what's the key factors that that make all these quotes and in and, and these Bible scriptures actually come to life? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now. When it was taught to me, too, when it comes to people just being like, oh, um, you're not black for real. Like, that's not a that's not a thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was just like, what? And this is like, I was like 20 or something like that. Damn near 20 years old, 21, because I'm 44 now, so I've been around. So at the end of the day, it was taught to me in that way. Like, you shouldn't claim that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's a part of a whole other jurisdiction that you don't necessarily need to be. And I'm like, jurisdiction? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, what is that? So, yeah. yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? And niggas is like, you know, jurisdiction. Like, you know, when the cops pull you over, they say, give me your driver's license. And then da, da, da. And I'm like, yeah. And he's just like, well, why are they doing that? I'm like, because they're the cops. <laughs> and he's <just> like, <laughs> <laughs> real shit, real shit, real shit. You know what I'm saying? But he like, yeah, but it's deeper than that. And I'm like, what you mean? He just like, well, they obviously have an authority because of what is it? What do they usually say? Oh, I have jurisdiction to do this, right? Or I'm 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 in the jurisdiction. You're in our jurisdiction, you know, or whatever jurisdiction right. word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I'm tripping like, okay, jurisdiction. I'm like, okay, okay. And then he just like, yeah. So it's these things called statute laws. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, statute? Yeah, I heard a statute. Like, you know. And he's just like, yeah, statutes. But do you know what a statute is? Yeah. You know. So it's just more like going, going in that conversation, right? Right. And so, so when he's talking about all this stuff, then he, uh, oh. We have somebody in the room that came right in. Ah, E.T. Araya. All right. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's bring her in the room, man. Let's bring her in the room. Introduce herself. You know what I'm saying? Hello, hey. guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm Uriah Townsend. So yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm trying not to smell. It's all good. It's all good. Welcome. Good. Welcome good. to the room. Yeah, this is uh this is my guy, um, uh, Master I. Um, peace, how are you? Everyone. Peace out, how are you? <laughs> well, peace in. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Word. And so just to catch you up, uh Raya, um basically we we you know, this segment is called On the Real. And uh we were talking about really like why are so called black people, you know um just getting treated the way they are and you know don't really you know got feel like they got a way out per se you know what i'm saying in a sense and uh i don't know um master I, you can kind of explain it because I, I was going in on some other things so let's just catch her up on the, the, it's all question, the question you was asking uh well, my, my general question is just us the question like, uh, why is there a war on our history or our history, right? Uh, why is there such an attempt to erase our past? Uh, and they dedicate, they have a budget toward it. Like, like just w what's considered acts of war? Uh, what is the definition of war? I mean, right now I'm looking at uh, the, the noun version where it says a state of armed conflict between nations or states or different groups within a nation or state. So when you look at the state we're in, 
and you look at all the confliction that we face at so many levels, and then you contrast that uh, to, to other places that have actually engaged in how they define war, I feel like there's always been a silent war. Like, this is war. When you cut people's food supplies, when you cut their education, uh, when you kill their healers and their spiritual practices, uh, when you when you make them feel hatred towards themselves, uh, when we're no longer producing because they're promoting some kind of uh, homosexual agenda, you know what I mean? Which yes. then they try to twist it and say, like, I could never hate a human being. That's not my business. What well, my business is is uh, as above, so below, and heaven, earth, the same shit. Uh, it takes a masculine and feminine chemical to produce life on this earth. How is that not possible beyond us? Uh, to the fact that if we're, like we're dealing on war of all assets, to the fact that why wouldn't their concept of God, why wouldn't God be a they if it takes they to get us here? How does it turn into heat? But we live in a living organism. We live in a womb. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we give more praise to the sun than we do Mother Earth. And we live in Mother Earth. We live on Mother Earth before the sun hits us. So again, not to go too far, is what's considered war? Why is there a war or such an attempt to uh, restrict us? And how do we start questioning do our own research so that we gain that confidence knowing what we're dealing with? Uh, yeah, in a nutshell. That was my amazing. Bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Absolutely. I absolutely what, agree. What do you think about that? Like in a, like to be like, okay, we don't have we don't know our history really unless we, you know, we gotta really dig deep. And then um, a lot of people just, in my opinion, I feel like we don't know ourselves. We don't have a, a hist like a, um, I wouldn't say history, um, a heritage, right? Like a cultural heritage, right? We, we pretty much adopted a lot of other people's things and kind of blended it in with what we got going on, right? Yeah. So I kind of feel like that's a problem, meaning, you know, like they always say, oh, you don't know who you are and you got to find yourself and all these different things that people say over time. Right. And you always think about like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah. really, it's like to me, when it comes to us, our people, I will say um, in law me me personally digging deep into what law is and and how it works in our favor right yes. um the the whole black thing like i i get it i i'm black you feel me like i grew up black eating chicken and all the shit you know what i'm saying so it ain't like you know what i'm saying like it ain't like the, you know i ain't embraced in the blackness you feel me? But when I look at law and I see what law says about black and black pe persons, right? Um, is it's it says different. It says we ain't got no rights, you know. We're like I'm the juror in the government, meaning like no status, right? Under hmm. colorable law, that's what it says, right? Under it's like 14th Amendment, 13th Amendment. Um, but when you look at that and then you look at remedies, right? People are like, what's the remedy? Where's the remedy? Where's the remedy? And it's like, okay, obviously there's a remedy. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> it, 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 and, it's, and it's been there, <laughs> you know? And, and like I said, it, it goes back to um me and master i was talking about it earlier is like they're going to give you the information it's not like they're going to give it to you like how we see it okay cnn on okay this is how you you know yeah. do this and do that or this is what the people said about your people and you know what i'm saying like 
they're not going to do that, especially when we talk about this war concept. Right. If, if, if we go back to being like, oh, yeah, there's a, a colonist so-called. Right. And even when you go in these certain rooms or I see on YouTube, some people be like, oh, you're a colonist and this stuff. And, and the dudes be like on some. Well, like, shit. Yeah, I guess so. You know, what you gonna do about it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta yeah. trip off that, like, in a sense of like, they know something we don't, or they just accept the fact of that their people's one and they're benefiting off the fruits of the labor, and they don't give a fuck. Like, you know what? You feel... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, no, man. I wasn't trying to cut your wisdom. Just an example. Why you saying that? I was working at Trader Joe's. Uh, a while ago, just to show you something, how they know, right? On the same topic. So it, it's an Irish dude I was working with, and I found like a little leprechaun had a St. Patrick, whatever. It was in the back, you know what I mean? So I'm going to have to register, put a little hat on, you know, just clowning around. Uh, and I remember dude was like, you know, because dude, the Irish dude, dude was like, oh, man, you know what I mean? I, you got the hat on of my people. And I'm like, oh, man, you know what I mean? Like, everybody, my people, too, bro. You know what I mean? He was like, oh, you must be an Irish Moor. Mm. How's a random white dude call me an Irish Moor? Yeah. He sees how well, I hold myself. You see what I'm saying? They know is what my whole point was. Is They know who we are while we saying black, African-American, and Afro-American, and all this other shit. They know our origin. Of course. Well, I, yeah. I I believe that too because I personally feel like just to speak on the whole war thing, you know, I feel like it definitely should it's definitely war when people are putting down your people and they're trying to gain all the money and they're trying to have the power and they're trying to be in control of the government and say, oh, because you're this color, you should go to these schools, you should live in this district, you should live in the projects, you should eat this type of food, you don't get organic food, you don't get healthy food. You know, I believe that when people start saying these things, it is it is war because it's like, no one should be able to come in and tell someone else because of their skin what they should eat. You know, I just think it's disrespectful. And when you say that they know, I feel like they do know because it comes down to jealousy. It comes down to envy. It comes down to all these things because, you know, if you don't fear somebody or you don't fear a culture or you don't fear people, then you wouldn't be doing these things. You wouldn't be trying to put us in projects or trying to tell us what to eat if you didn't fear us. There must be something, like you said, they know because people just don't do that to people they don't fear. Yeah, I, I, in the add-on, that's, you know what? And I, it's kind of hard right now. I'm like torn between are they right or are they wrong? And the reason why I say that is, is <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I got to look at it because I'm like, they, okay, like it goes back to the whole colonists and, and, and we, because I was telling Master I earlier, we were so-called on top, right? We were the kings. We had this. We had this, right? Our ancestors and stuff like that. So, and, and then now we don't, right? Like, <laughs> and so... It's like, and we're under a certain, I guess, uh, you know, regime. Like when, when you talk about like Rome and all these people, you know what I'm saying? Like we're under a certain jurisdiction. Power, jurisdiction, right? So, but what I'm saying <laughs> is like, it's like, okay, are they wrong by setting up a system? Because the system is set up if you don't read right listen and the only reason why i say that is because if you are just walking around signing stuff and doing all this stuff it's like rappers complaining about 30 20 years later they broke because they signed something early on that they didn't read yep you see what i'm saying and i feel this is kind of that because it's not even about and the reason why I say are they wrong or right is because they got us caught up in this racism, black, white shit. You know what I'm saying? And and that ain't it because that's 
that they made that up. It's it's like the saying, color system. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like if you go to an Asian person and be like, "Yo, man, what's up, with my 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 yellow man?" He gonna look at you crazy as fuck. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. He gonna obviously say where he actually is from, right? Exactly. So it's kind of like I always say to people like. Okay, yeah, I'm black. All right. Well, where's my black embassy at? Because these niggas is tripping. I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> Where the black flag? Last time I checked, black flag is road spray. Ain't that a bitch? Well, but without disrespecting it, you feel me? Because I know a lot of people are are very passionate about what they've been taught, in my yeah. opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to disrespect what people think it is, what's going on. Because there's different facets of education. And they might be in a certain thing. And then, like, like let's say you're in law or something, and people be like, oh, well, you took the oath to the bar. But what about the liberty? You know, mm -hmm. supposed to be liberty. This is the United States of America, right? It's about the liberty of the people. Like, we the people. Like, mm -hmm. not we the bar. <laughs> you feel <Right>. me? Like, <laughs> so it's just those little things that people don't catch, right? And so... The reason why I'm going in on that is because it's not their fault that they done conquered us to a certain degree and they won. All right, boom, you won. All right, nigga, you feel me? But our people did put down certain treaties, right? Which you yes. gotta uphold because it's it's like it's like that's that's the whole reason of trusts, right? Like like each state has a trust. You feel me? And a lot of people don't know that each state has a constitution. Mm -hmm. So if you look at a remedy, right? And you'd be like, okay, what's a remedy, man? Like, why are they calling us? Why are we not black people not getting our, you know, so-called rights, right? And so when you look at the Bill of Rights or any Bill of Rights in a constitution, because each constitution has its own Bill of Rights, they're their own country damn near. That's what people don't understand. You might as well yeah. be called Californians. Uh, what do you call it? Like, a, uh, you know, American, Californian, a, 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 a New Yorkian, you know what I'm saying? Whatever State the rights. Yeah, State right. Rights. Because you're a part of that body politic, right? which is a citizen you feel me and and, and so it's kind of like when you break that down in layman's terms you just be like okay 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 i'm a part of this i'm i'm, I'm fucking with san francisco i'm fucking with this and fucking with these people right it's like but now i'm i'm part of their system of how they right. run shit right and then you got to kind of uh, you know and then as for so-called black people you got to be like, OK, well. What what can we do to get respect? Right. That's the question. And That's it ain't about kicking and, and kicking and screaming. It can't be. Huh? Right. Huh? Because uh, if it is, I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, I got something to add on to that. But in my opinion, what do you think about just protest and things like that like we've been doing those for years in my opinion i understand it gets frustrating you know and i know that you don't want to it's like somebody trying to whoop your ass you like fuck that nigga. i'm bringing my brother my cousin nigga we're gonna have him down there and whipping all y'all diggers <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah it's all that and it's cool you might you might win but then you still talking to you i remember who you're talking to now you know what I'm saying? These ain't little homies down the street. These motherfuckers got bombs and all types of shit. They invading all type of shit right now. Don't yeah. think. <laughs> yeah. Not to say you yeah. can't be as a people. I'm just saying their guns is up. Like oh, yeah. their guns is all the way up, bro. So we talking big gun versus little gun when it comes down to all all war, right? That's what I Not said. I mean, they stand they up. Yeah, they got weapons. You know, That's all they got saying. weapons. They got weapons. So you gotta think about it. Okay, well, how can these motherfuckers respect us? And even though we're not gonna go out, don't think we're going out just because you got you know, <laughs> you know, don't think that. But how can these people respect us? 
right? And so when I look at the definition of the word uh, black in um, certain dictionaries, even law dictionaries, let's just say black's law, one of the definitions says pale. Okay. Yeah. Look it up. I'm gonna I'm, I'm see if I can pull it up on the screen. But one of those one of those definitions is pale. So it's kind of like, okay, what does that mean? It's like our skin ain't pale. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> we're not the pale ones, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 just common sense to me. So without getting all deep, it's just more about I want. My position in this conversation is to say what in law says they got some the, the right to do this, the right to kill somebody and put a knee on them and and just go to trial. Bro, don't even go to jail right away. Let's just go to trial. See what's popping. Yeah, get him on vacation or whatever. He's going to get paid, whatever. We're going to figure it out. You see what I'm saying? But if, if but if someone else did it, you know. It's, it's more of an issue. I guess I ain't going to say all the time. I'm going to say when it comes to national news, that's the trend, right? But then you got these kids that will go to schools and shoot up the everybody, right? And then now they're uh -huh. labeled, uh -huh. uh, you know, mentally this or that. And, you know, they try to get into their whole background and their childhood so you can feel for them and all this, you know? So, but the reason oh, why yeah. I say this is because of when people say so-called white privilege and this and that. I don't really look at it like that. I look at it like their position of not telling us that what you're calling yourself is actually fucking you up in law. So keep you on know, with Just real quick, bro. Yeah. Uh, I look at white privilege for what it is, which is entitlement, and the fact that they're together. That's what white privilege is. It's the fact that I can do something and have a group of my peers that will support it. That is what white privilege is. Yeah, it's not that the world, they feel entitled on, on their own. They have people to support that or to back them up. My yeah, bad. Say I, it again, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you I go agree. ahead. I just wanted to chime in and be okay, like, you know, when you're saying more of it about law, I kind of um, agree with him as well. You know, yes, it's about law, but you know, if you, like he said, have peers and your friends are on law, you know, if your friends are in the government, if your friends are in the district and they run what goes on, yes, it. It's going to count. It's going to matter because, yeah, he put his, you know, knee on his neck, but his friend could work for the government. He could be like, oh, man, I got you. It's cool, bro. Like, don't worry about it. You know, so. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no. I get that. And, and that's why I say the, where the law comes in is because if we did have a so-called nation, right, that's like him mm -hmm. doing that to an Asian dude or somebody straight from China. Like, he just came over here just to chill out or come up or whatever but his nation is china right it's like you do that to him china coming over here right off top. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me yep. like, and and let alone put it on tv like what oh yeah bro it's going down Thanks. you know what i'm saying that's asap so all i'm saying is why is that that's all like why don't we have like Okay, yeah, we got organizations and all these different things and stuff, but it's like it has to come to a point of organizing. Like, like it has to be like our own, if you want to call it, government uh, branch. Damn near, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. In a sense, of like we we understand we got our levels, we got our treasurer, and we got our, you know people you feel what i'm saying and it's going down the line you feel yeah. me you just ain't doing all this stuff you feel me and that's what i look at in law because or when you want to say white privilege so-called the reason why i don't really trip off that because it's a made-up thing first of all it's, it's us uh -huh. believing that 
You know, what it's I'm like saying? saying white supremacy is fake. It doesn't. It's not real. It is. It's a. It's a. It's, it is what it is to me. You know, because when I look at it, I'm like, all right. Well, the only reason why you can say that is because I'm over here signing up for that idea, right? I'm going with what Obama said. Obama mm -hmm. said he got the indigenous. What do you say? The religious indigenous act basically the uh the bill of rights for us we didn't understand that that's that's the one thing reason why we didn't understand it is because he, it says religious and then it also says well religion and religious right religion religion meaning us a people coming together not going to church or something like that not to be you know not to take away from that i'm just saying the the definition right of a religion is, is a, a collective of a people right and they have their traditions and da, 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 da. so basically when obama did that he said like yeah we good that's why i'm signing it the religious indigenous act right and if you read it it say we got inalienable rights like we good right meaning like it's just a we 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 are considered because of our people from back in the day and they call them the moors that's why we had the moroccan flag in the back you feel me and they even even what who was it uh hillary clinton she she even had the the Moroccan flag with the American flag nigga over here talking. To, yeah, the, the, the woo woo woo. Cause that Bro, they were they were fences behind closed doors, man. Come on, man. <laughs> but that's, that's our shit. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, bro. It's 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 uh to me, I feel we don't we have we passionate about everything else, but when it comes to this law, it's like we don't know shit. We don't know what's going on. We scared as soon as that motherfucker pull up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh shit. You know, ID registration, whatever. You, you know, it's like, and then you might get some pushback, right? And um, and be like, nah, I'll man. I know. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> but see, the women, you know, y'all, y'all also, you know, y'all. But but what do y'all think about this concept I'm saying about like for real, for real, like the whole black thing don't you think that's i mean even though it was ingrained in us you hear me the motherfucker is in there that's the key word that's the word <laughs> so and i'm not taking away from it i'm saying it hasn't helped us as a people in a sense of the 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 rights we have uh um instead of privileges right like we're getting privileges off of stuff that if we saying, oh, man, our people was here before Christopher Columbus and stuff. Just even thinking about that part. Like, if you can agree to saying that, then then we don't even got to talk about it. Like, it's, it's like there's nothing else to talk about. You could be like, because your people's so-called was here, at, you know, after Christopher Columbus, he touched down then boom, everybody here. Right. So if if. If if everyone could agree to be like there was someone else rather than Europeans here <laughs> before Christopher, right? Yeah, it's like then what are we talking about? And they look like us. I mean, skin tone. Yeah, that that part. Did was that it? And it yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. It's nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? So then now it comes back to why are what what are our rights who are our people right and it was told to me uh that you know we have people that were called the moors that's that's what i've been you know researching or whatever and and so i'm looking at this and i'm like okay all right they they're breaking it down and then they're breaking down stuff like okay what makes a people okay and you got to really think about that question like when it comes to like 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 a family like when people say what's a family crest 
like shit like that. You got a fat crest. Like this is my people. Like you feel me? Our our estate. Yeah. You feel me? Like you can't fuck with this estate. Like we own this. Like this is you know what I'm saying? This is royalty. Right. You know what I mean? Like how you get there? You feel me? Th those are the True. questions, right? Where you just like, where's that at? What what is a, a fucking diplomat for real? Like, yeah. how the fuck you do that? You know what I'm saying? Now you can just go and liaison through motherfuckers and <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, those are the questions I always had. You know what I'm saying? So, and then also talking about who where, who was our people for real? Some people say, yo, we was Indians and stuff like that. And using those words, right? Mm. And so I always was big on, okay, well, Indian, okay. Is that derogatory or is that for real? I like, you know, from what yeah. <laughs> you feel yeah. me? It's like calling nigga Mexican or something. Like, you like, is that cool or is it not cool? Mm, I don't it's, know. it's like it's like calling you know, a Puerto Rican a Mexican. That's what is yeah, yeah. They hate that go. shit. You know what I mean? Like, they hate because they know what's going on. They tied themselves to their people, or however they feel was deeper than what someone else called them, I guess, or whatever. However, right? So, but they're strong enough to actually question that. That's what I'm saying. Or not indoctrinated enough to question it, right? Because when you yeah. teaching people stuff, I mean, think about it. We had a school. They came on this line. We teaching everybody from kindergarten to goddamn 12th grade. They on here. Listen to everything right. we talk about since they was a kid. Trust and believe everything coming out their mouth gonna be what come out our mouth. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, what do you, uh, what do you think about that, E? What do you think so, about that? Um, I really think that, like you were saying, kind of, um, not to take it back, but when you were saying that, you know, when it comes to how our own people, kind of in a way, sold us, you know. If you know we're talking about history, it all comes back to we did sell our own people. And now when it came to the European people, what did they do? They got the minds. And when you get someone's mind, you can do a lot of things. Mm. So if they have our minds, you know, it's really up to us. We have to change ourselves before we can change the world. And what I mean like that, you have to take accountability for what you're eating. Just because they say, Oh, you're brown, you can't eat at Whole Food, you can't eat organic. Honey, you better walk up in there, get you some organic food, do what you do. Just because they say you can't be a lawyer, you can't be a doctor, you can't be a teacher, you better fight it. Like he said, it all comes down to war. It may not be physical war, but it could be a spiritual mental war. So I feel like it has a lot to do with the mind, you know, so. You see, all that's, levels, that's I, I totally agree. <laughs> all um, I'm saying. All I'm saying. I'm just saying, I agree. That's what I'm saying. So when we talk yeah. about war, we're looking at levels of being attacked physically, being attacked mentally. Uh, they created religion, but we know spirit or magnetism or energy. They've attacked us there. Like I tried to point out to the fact, I've never read it from a book, but I feel like naturally you have goddesses and gods. Why do we always talk about gods? When we raised by mothers and we know that we tribal, we know that grandma used to run the tribe, okay, before they start getting rid of elders. We knew that uh, who they consider people of color, we come from matriarchal uh, societies. We don't come from patriarchal societies. We come from societies where women run the show and the men do what we do to support them. They totally reverse that. And when you reverse somebody's way of living, you take them away from themselves. So when we're saying, how do we even, first of all, we need confidence. How do you gain that confidence when they've done so much to take it away from you? We need unity. That's what white privilege is, is white unity. That's what racism is. It's white unity. They know we're not unified. We're not on the same page. We talk you know, anywhere from. You're right. No, my bad, bro. Uh, no, 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 not to your wisdom. That's right, though. You're right. Uh, I, I'm just saying, like, we still quoting Allah and Jesus, and that's not our origin. It helped us for whoever it helped, but that's not our origin. And so we can't even get on the same spiritual page, right? So we can't get on the same spiritual page. Then we can't get on the same mental page. 
Did I mean we damn sure not on the same physical page? And this is what even civil wars in Africa is what Europeans took advantage of is the fact that we've always had conflicts between the tribes. And that's a misconception. If we read Chancellor Williams' book, uh, Destruction of the Black Civilization, which is an old book, he goes into that. And that totally flipped my mind because coming from Chicago, you got Farrakhan saying a white man the devil. But then you're realizing that we sold our own people out and white people couldn't come into the interior of Africa without some kind of collaboration. So when we look at how to get out of this, we need to reverse engineer the divide and conquer theory. And, and, and I don't got all the answers, Sweat, right? Like, but I know that in, in, in simple terms, uh, and, and I got something written on my, how can you plan your next step when you don't know your last step? So we constantly trying to plan and we protesting and we doing shit with no goal in mind. Uh, and, and what's the end game? I think white folks sit back and laugh because we don't have an end game and they know, and you can hear about the shit that they say. Oh, all you gotta do is hide shit in books and niggas can't get to it. Um, you know what I mean? Like these are the same people that say shit like that. You know think what? about. <laughs> Go no, ahead, no, you know what? Over. Not to cut you, but this, and that's what I mean by infrastructure, right? You have mm. to. It has to be a, a what do they say? Call it ec group economics. Obviously, right? This is a form of group economics. We're coming together. We're, we're, we're speaking our minds, doing stuff, and blah, blah, blah. It comes and bring it out to the world, right? So right. It's, right. It's, it's, it's that on all levels, right? So when you're talking about being a child, right, and what a child needs is what the parent gives them, right? Mm. So you've got to control the destiny by action, really, at the end of the day, when it comes to all levels of your life. So let's just say that someone's going to cut off your electricity and you ain't got no solar panels. You off. You fucked. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, for a second, I mean, until they shut it on. But you invested in solar panels so you controlling your life a little bit, right. at least. Yeah. Right. So let's say the water, they turn off the goddamn water. You ain't got no rain catcher or something or something. You know, mm. that's going to purify your shit where you ain't got to worry about them niggas turning your shit off for a minute and you ain't going to be thirsty. That's just common sense shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if you, the, the grocery stores ain't there, you a vegan or a vegetarian and you ain't got no garden, you ain't got no no hydroponic system somewhere. That's You're fucked. Yeah. You know no, it's the, it's, it's you're the dependency. You, you're pointing out the dependency that we were programmed, that's what I'm saying, to even reverse engineer out of that dependency is to recognize that we're dependent on this shit. You know what I mean? And that we've been programmed to not be independent. Why do you think Black Wall Street, Black Wall Street happened because after slavery, niggas had skills. So white folks was farmers. Yeah. If they didn't have slaves, they was poor, illiterate fucking farmers. This is facts. So you have this group of people that through all the adversity and shit, when they finally got to separate, they built their own shit because they had the skills to hunt, fish, sew, uh, engineer, plumbing, uh, account, all that shit. We had, had skills. So the poor white people looking at it like, well, why these niggas get to live? And we stupid as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, and no, I mean, that's, well, that's period. Yeah. Well, that's but that's back in the day. See, look, back in the day, they was a little bit more bullies. All right. They right now. It ain't going down like that, okay? P -P -P. Listen, listen to this, big brother. What I'm saying is, from back then to right now, you see the evolution of how they took care of that. You see that they're like, okay, we can no longer let niggas be independent because we can't put a hand in. We can't control that shit. Yeah, but then they also taught us how to do that on our own. That's what I'm trying to say. Put it you on know, autopilot. You're our worst yeah. enemy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. in in the money too. And 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 really not in my opinion, really understanding infrastructure and how money works, right? It's not a real it's, it's about building and owning and you know those type of things. Like I said before, it all comes with the basic necessities. So you got those took it care of. Let's just say if you on that, I'm not saying everybody, you know, got rain catchers and doing all this. I'm just pointing out a fact 
of we should in we in, weren't programmed in, to that somebody else right you know what i'm saying so and that's why you know having your own business or or doing stuff like that is is a is a benefit because you're not um you know under someone else really at the end of the day that can just cut you the fuck off so but when you look at that part and then you look at that part as a whole as far as a people i always look at the the example of going to a liquor store and that's probably one of the only businesses that's in your community let's just say at the time and the person that's working the store is not what of color like you let's just say not color but you know of of your you know people right let's just yeah. say which is not a bad thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just what i'm saying is psychologically right growing up and your kids growing up in that same situation every business that's in their community is never or barely anybody like them right right so, yeah what I mean by that is when you're when when you're growing up in life, you're growing up to inspire to somebody. You hear what I'm saying? Sometimes because you're a kid. It's like I want to be Superman or I want to be woo. You know, it's like all these different, you know, people. But then at the end of the day, it's like when you have, let's say, just the corner store guy or the police dude or this or that, right? These are the people that we grow up seeing that's barely like us, let's just say, right? So when we're looking at that and we're like, fuck, I don't think I could be that. And every time they fuck with me as a kid, you know, they're not even like me. So I don't even feel I'm even worthy of that position because they're always on top of me. I never see my people in a power position like that, right? So when we do get into those positions, it's a celebration right and then we're super <laughs> analyzing that person on everything he do because or she do based off of we don't got too many people doing that right but then it got to a point now where the whole like like in the 90s we were real big on africa and you know just black power just awareness and you know saying fight the power and, you know we was you know everybody was going in the medallions and you know high top fame <laughs> you know we was going in you know what i'm saying cross yeah, colors yeah. all that you know what i'm saying like that was big right because we still our mothers and fathers and stuff that we will just jump we was fresh off the black panthers for real if you want to keep it real yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm yeah. saying so all yeah. of that was just a uh after effect of what we were still on you get what i'm saying but now when you created all these businesses because a lot of these businesses that's successful right now wasn't popping back then like def jam is like what we doing right now back then you see what i'm saying rick rubin and whoop de whoop over here trying to get ll cool j to do you know what i'm saying it's like it's the same shit but now what happened was in my opinion, the morals because of like he say the money came into play. A lot of people ain't with it. And then the true players of the game, which aren't us for real, you know, are paying people to feel special, right? To feel like yeah. God, to feel better than, you know, to make it seem like this is a special. Not everybody could do this. <laughs> <laughs> you, know <what> I'm <laughs> you gotta be a special nigga, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't true. It's just not true. You see what I'm saying? But they're setting the stage and they've been blowing it up, blowing it up to where now you got Jay Z. I love him to death, but come on, bro. You ain't hove. It ain't hove. You know, the true meaning of hove. You not, yeah, you are. We of God, yes, we are, yes, we speak it, life, all that. But when you start idolizing people, you know, that's a whole different That's what level. the celebrity, that's <laughs> what the Western celebrity is set up for, for idol worship. Their whole society is based on idol worshiping. Uh, I mean, to the point where they, their whole system of religion 
is racism. Like, look at their system of religion from Genesis. Like, I've been looked in their shit, man. Their whole shit is to control supremacy, like I said, from all three levels, from the physical, from the mental, and most importantly, spiritual aspect. If we're spiritual people, okay, if we literally raise them stones to the pyramids off sound, they, they've, they've figured out how to retard our growth. Uh, when we're looking at how to accomplish elevation, we have to look at stop starting our growth. We have to get stop feeding the so-called beast. Uh, yeah. We're everything. We're everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, so just, just to, to see the disregard and how far it's willing to go, then we understand that by default, the same unity they have is what we have to achieve. I feel like our thing is how do we go about that with so much immense programming that's literally been, I just had a conversation with my aunt a couple of days ago. Okay, we both from Chicago. She know who the Moors are. She's 60 something years old. And I could feel her mind wanting to know, accept the truth, but still reverting back to the Jesus juice. That's some powerful shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Jesus juice. That's I mean, what I, I call it. You know what? I don't want nobody. Listen, man. Whatever they into, it is what it is. This I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not knocking like, it. Okay, E. What What do you think? Okay, I know we've been going on, and from your perspective as a woman doing in the industry, and also just just for your perspective on on how things are going in your perspective the world how we've been respected how our men is being disrespected or whatever it's like or or any solutions you might see too like well, what's your perspective on that well the solution i personally feel like um starts with the children because mm. you know um children are the future so if you are raising children in your community to be, like he said, confidence for one, two, yeah, you may see white cops in your neighborhood. They may put their necks on people, but you have to keep going. You have to keep fighting. You have to know that no one's going to stop me because of the color of my skin. So I think the solution is children um, because, you know, it starts from a child. If you can get a child's mind, it can, it can, you can definitely push them to become a hero and when it comes to the industry and all these things as a woman you know i feel like it's just a lot to take in a lot to deal with but i i just i'm the person that just keeps going you know i'm not gonna let someone stop me you know i know it's hard because the rules and things that have been set up but you know, there's a lot of people like us that got money that are at the top. And it's all about helping each other. Like he said, unity. We need to understand unity. We need to come back. I grew up in a family where we always had each other's back. I don't care. We had each other's back. My granny, my, you know, my whole family, our church was my aunt, you know, my mom, my, my Nana, that's all we had. You know, my uncles, you know, we were a family. We, my family didn't really let other people inside so that's the kind of family i grew up in but um so i'm really big on unity when it comes to the african culture you know my dad's from jamaica my my family came here as immigrants and they made you know a way to america so me it's just to keep going keep fighting um raise the children up and let them know that you know we popping period that's right <laughs> On the real, on the real, God is on the real. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Um, and I hey. told you when we were on the phone, like with the homeboy, my concern is the baby. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about what old people on. You got to raise this multicultural child, and that's the future. And so I'm not around mine. I need to make sure that I can lend a helping hand to any child. Uh, the right way and she she's on point i can reiterate her point there there's uh that's how you gain the confidence it is it, definitely the children um and they, right. they they start really early getting to us my mom's a school teacher she would tell you that our generation i'm 41 our generation got the back end of the last of the good education as far as this country without being totally compromised that's why 
our generation mm. is still we're talking about the things we're talking about because they mm. haven't got to us completely and we came up during the right era like you said uh we repeated the site that my dad hated rap until he until we went to see do the right thing at the show and he found public enemy and he's like well shit all right you know what i mean because my dad's from that era my dad went to the breakfast programs that the panthers would thought like he's from cabrini green so i came up in a particular neighborhood uh the gang is blackstones the l rookins so half my neighborhood is uh black muslims half of them is like our grandparents uh christian like my grandma but me and my grandma get along out of everybody in the family because my, my grandma has an original concept she's from mississippi and she learned real quick that our spirituality is much stronger than what we've been programmed. So just to take it back, uh, and, and all respect, I'm never knocking anybody's beliefs. What I'm knocking is the fact that we're still holding on to old indoctrinations and we're not being freed up from these old indoctrinations. And all I want us to do is realize that, uh, I, like I think I told you, everything we get in, we make fly. We got into Islam, we made it fly. We got into Christianity, we made the shit fly. Um, to the point where I, even with knowledge itself, when I got out of prison, I still went to church just to get a feeling. It wasn't the religious aspect, it was the energy. We have an energy no matter where we are, we're gonna dominate that. So all I'm saying is, how do we get on the same spiritual page? We know that the Moors were Muslims, Christians, agnostics, esoterics it was a is a motley crew of very intelligent high science people so i want to make sure that everybody knows my point is unity on the aspect of we're all on the same page we don't all have to be the same right. people um, right. but we well, what i mean by reverse engineering is at what point will we our best and then when we find out at what point will uh, we were at our best on the planet then we have to go back and at least start from there Right. Like we still have to evolve, but there was a definite retardation gap in our evolution uh, that we have to. It didn't happen overnight. We got to start compressing that to the point where it's irrelevant. Um, no, you, otherwise, you you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, you're right. Not to cut you off. I, I, I no, just want to add on and just kind of I guess, I, like I said, I don't got the answers either. I feel like it's more about when you're talking about building something you got to just okay what don't we have okay those are the questions right yeah. we don't got land that's for sure we don't have our own medical facilities or something like that but let's just keep it simple actually let's just we don't got land okay so that means if we don't got land we don't got housing or we or we're not on our own housing situation right, right? so I feel that's big because if if we're just sitting out here not owning nothing and just renting and not just owning stuff, I'm talking about substantial amount of situations where we can really help people. It ain't right. about like all these homeless people and people getting kicked out their house and all this. And I mean, for what? You know what I'm saying? It's like if we have things set up where it's like, OK, yeah, we built this apartment building for uh you know single mothers or whatever it was right and it's on our land you know we permitted it out where we can pick and choose who we helping or whatever however but what i'm saying is just to have those type of opportunities there right um and then attack your food system like i know it sound hella hippie but the reason why i'm saying this is that it's like if we don't have our own resources, I guess is the right word, right? When we really, really need it. Why are we talking about, okay, it's a pandemic and then we might be getting kicked out of our house. We ain't got nobody. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's Asian communities, Latino communities, um, other communities, right? If, if you are part of their community, they helping you to fuck out. It don't right. matter who, government ain't doing what they got a system that they made for this type of sit <laughs> you know what i'm saying for they people you see what i'm saying regardless if it was an agency they made up and they over here tapping into certain things because the so-called 
white people, okay, they they do it every day. Like when people say, oh, you know, all these black people on welfare, but when you say look at it statistically, it's just as much as white people it is as black. So it ain't like it's actually more. It's actually yeah, more. I'm, yeah, but <laughs> let's just keep it real. I guess let's make it fair. Actually, we're not gonna keep it real right there. We're gonna make it fair. We're gonna say. We're gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Just for shit. Hey, I'm with it. I'm yeah. with it. I'm with it. Just for shit. Make it fair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it fair for. Them. But at the end of the day, it's like when you brought up Black Wall Street, like things like that, right? I look at that, and I look right. at. It wasn't about talking, right? Like when I look at business, even right now, this is media to me, right? I don't gotta go to whoop de whoop and whoop de whoop, right? I get to do it right here with my peoples, and we go do our own thing. We ain't gotta put, you know, talk about whatever we want to talk about, and you know, it's just that's freedom to me. You feel what I'm saying? Be free minded, right? When somebody's holding you back because they got something over you, it's just like, like. That's not free. You see what I'm saying? Especially if you're building with your people Word. and then they holding shit over you. It's like, God damn, bro, we ain't learned yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we ain't learned yet, bro. Like, COVID this didn't teach you yet. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's fine. But I feel like infrastructure well, I mean, is huge. It's yeah, huge. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, unity. Uh, all we got to do is realize how important and uncliche unity is. I mean, mm. bro, we just watched. We just watched a group of arms going to the Capitol, and nothing happened. If that doesn't let you know that they're all together, but the facade is what the media puts out. You know what I mean? The facade is that they divided. They all one house. They've always been all one house. And I'm saying we need to be one house. I don't know how we achieve that, but I know. Well, I do. It does start I mean, I with the babies. I know that the people yeah. who do have open minds, there's potential there to get this shit going. Yeah. But, that, but that's what I mean by the infrastructure of uh, trying to figure out what, what are these, like, instead of talking about it, like, we know, like, we need okay we need like our own facilities let's 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 not even say land right now let's just say okay we need our own child care service we need our own uh grocery store real quick we need a uh uh like i say a rental property or something like that just things assets that we can acquire and in over time get bigger right you know what I'm saying? But if we don't have those things or support people that's within the community for real, not the outsiders that's trying to fuck shit off that already sold out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like really. Huh. And, and, and the only reason why I think that's hard to a certain degree is because we don't have any leaderships that's telling us like, yo, we well, not we, but you need to get together with your community and buy up all these houses real quick. And if you need the money, we got your back. Just come with right. a, a, a a written, you know what I'm saying, plan and this and that and all those houses that y'all been looking at and wanting to buy. Don't even trip off of it. We got you. You know what I'm saying? Just to have a plan together. You know, I'm pretty sure there is things. Hey, like we don't that, have philanthropists. We, like in that way, right? You know, I don't know. Like, what do you think about that, E? Like, what do you think is the steps for real? I mean, I don't have the answers either, <laughs> but I mean, it's it's a really big thing, you know, with me being into marketing. I kind of see, you know, um, our people are actually make up the biggest consumers. Um, you know, when it comes to definitely being in America, we make up the most consumers. We spend um, about $14 trillion on Nike, on Walmart, on, you know, all these brands, not to mention, just to throw it out there, you know, Walmart actually only has like 1% of black stock in their whole store. Target has 14%. Yet during the riots, you know, our own people were burning down targets, not to mention they have a bigger stock of 
black products in their store and walmart mm. doesn't really support our people but yet our people shop there more than they shop at target um i just wanted mm. to throw that in there because these are the things that we're not paying attention to that are actually harming our own communities so mm. yeah wow that was big facts right there yeah we, on we, the real again <laughs> on the real I mean, I, we we don't have philanthropists, right? So while we forced to go shop at these places and other people are uh, building shops in our communities and areas, we don't have philanthropists. And what I mean by that is we have plenty of quote unquote black millionaires, right? Like I, I literally just seen Kamala Harris's budget for a campaign, which is 11 million. So you telling me, and, and Biden's was 22, so that's 33 together. So you telling me out of all the people that we idol worship, and this goes back to that, right? The celebrity, the idol worship, uh, your Jay-Z's and all that shit. They got billions of dollars, but there's no philanthropy. That's And so what it is, is it's not saying, it's not saying that I'm gated. What it's saying is we need to stop idol worshiping these individuals. We need to stop giving them praise because they don't support the own communities they come from. And they, they damn sure got enough wealth to support it. Everything you're saying, bro, everything you're saying, sis, these are the people that if we don't hold accountable, we need to condemn them. And I think it starts there. So that at least we know who's our group, who's our tribe, who's our clan, who's our circle, and that we need to stop confusing who's not. Uh, one of y'all just said earlier, everybody who look like us ain't us. And we need to get that through our head, uh, that there's definite division. And the people who speak like us somehow coincidentally don't have how America deems wealth. You see what I'm saying? And that's almost funny that way. If you have a knowledge yourself, you, you, you don't got the million to go and, and help people out where they need help. So what part of the game is that? But we keep supporting these millionaires. I feel like we're just we're, we're feeding them without feeding ourselves. And so if, if we're not going to if we're not going to hold them accountable, then, like I said, we need to start cooning them out and stop making them feel like, you know, what I mean, because that's the game. They, they, they want to be that white representation with a black face to pipe piper us into whatever agenda they have. We need to start cutting that shit off is what I'm saying. We need to start taking responsibility. Pardon, sister. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'm sorry. I was going to let you finish. <laughs> but yeah, mm. it, I think it has a lot to do with definitely, like you said, different eras. You know, with me being part of um, Gen Z, I feel like a lot of Gen Z people are actually taking a stand. And millenniums, you know, millenniums were Gen Z's parents and aunts and uncles. And I feel like in that area, something went wrong. I don't want to put the blame on millenniums, but I feel like something went wrong. And COVID, you know, everything is changing. And I feel like with Gen Z right now being the leaders in the world, it's really up to us and our elders to really focus on, like you said, Gen Z, um, Jay Z, and all these celebrities that have the money that aren't giving it back to their communities, that aren't going out there and building schools, that aren't going out there and doing whatever they have to do to change the world. Yeah, the 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 school part is big. That's why I was, I mean, I respect that type of stuff. That's what I mean by infrastructure. And then also when it comes to a so-called government level, you know, we have some type of representation that's for real. Like we can really talk to, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody that's just put in place that we don't even know who the hell this is and what's going on. But we do got to take responsibility for our own actions as well and build with like minded people in the infrastructures that we feel are needed in our own way. Right. Um, when it comes to this Internet thing, I think the Internet is so amazing that even though we don't have a physical situation, it's still being able to be structured in a way where. It can feel that way. Right. And, and we can add on to things like, you know, you know, have your own school. If you feel like you are educated in a certain field or something like that, like these are things that we as for ourselves have to step up to the plate, too. Right. Because we got to know 
we got tools too, right? We got tools to set, you know, and help really, because the the main point, the main point of this conversation, I feel on the real right now, first, the first time we did this, you know what I'm saying, is that uh, we trying to figure out the best method of getting a group of people, I, I will say, to, to get on board with a certain concept and be, um, I guess, uh, in a group situation where we're helping out each other. We're making sure we got situations with each other that just in case, like if you go to Chinatown or, or a Greek town in places like that, right? In certain cities, they have their own communities where they're setting up shop, right? And so every day they're going to barter with each other regardless. And then you got the tourists, you know what I'm saying? And the people who come outside of that, right? So I feel like this is a conversation starting, you know, just opening that that gate into what should we do today? What can we do today? What can we do tomorrow for real? Like, what are the steps of who do we need to talk to or what do we got to do extra to, to get closer to these situations, right? So I guess that's uh that's my little two cents. All right. Um, I know it's really big and you know it's not something that can happen uh, overnight, but it can definitely happen with the right people, like-minded people, because you know, right now we're going through a a crisis, you know, with COVID and this pandemic. This is this is a time where our people have to fight the most. This is an, this is an opportunity to really get out there and mm. show the world who we are. This is an opportunity. Like mm. if people don't see this as an opportunity, I don't know. Like I don't mm. know. This is an opportunity right now. Like it really is. That's awesome. You definitely said True that you were opportunity. It is. True that. And that's I feel that's like we got a we got to play the head game, just like how they play with Like I said, we got to hold these millionaires accountable. And if they if they show on that they're not accountable and they really part of the shit, you condemn them. And so at least after that, we know what we're working with and who we're working with. But the problem has always been with our organizations is having an open door policy and then the wrong motherfuckers get in. You can say the Panthers, you can say the uh, uh, the Starline movement with Garvey, uh, you can say the pop. We left the door open for motherfuckers to come in to take over and ruin our shit. I think the, the best progress we had was when we were segregated. We had our own education. We had our own ethics. We had our morals. Uh, we were still connected to our, our ancestry line. Like, it's a lot of shit. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Anderson pointed out that it's not about segregation and integration. It's about aggregation, which meaning that we should have... we. We should have the right to gather and build as we please. And then if we want to go back into the shit, we can do that, too. Uh, well, do, well, not to cut you off and keep on that. Right. When you said when we were segregated, right. I want to keep on that because what happened was we weren't voters. Right. We didn't have the so-called right, right to vote. But what did we have? We had land. We had our own shit going we had on. Land. Like we, you said, right. Our so, own shit. Yes. Yeah, our own shit. So before we, we've been on here for almost an hour, 20 minutes. So what are we going to do? I'm going to make a point. We can all make our point. Then we're going to close out. Right. So my point with that real quick is that reason why I go back to law is before they had the right to vote. Right. They had the rights to their land. It was good, you know, but they didn't understand when they signed up to vote it took away their rights, right? It took away everything. Yep. Reason being is because when you're a voter, you're part of you're you're part of a franchise now, right? So whatever that is, you know, y'all can look at the however, but you are part of a franchise. So then that franchise, the, the franchisee is owned by the franchisor, the voter. So meaning that whatever the franchisee owns, land including all that, is a part of the franchise now okay so a lot of these people that registered to vote all of a sudden getting killed and land getting taken away and all type of shit because 
they didn't understand what they just did. So that's that's something I just wanted to leave out there because that's a fact. That's actually what happened when it comes to their rights, and it was off of a law. You see what I'm saying? The 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 yep. law of do you consent to being a voter? I mean, yep. and now since you consented. You got some shit to do, and now we own, and then we about to come through and, and then you know what I'm saying. And you running around like, hold on, fifty acres go, hundred acres go. They kicking me out of my house. They, they, you know, beating me up and doing all this stuff. It's just like, not to say they wasn't doing it before, but they were straight before because in law they was able to have their forty acres and do all that. The people who wanted it, you see, what they already had it. It was already on their family land. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of them people was straight is basically. And they tricked them into this thing I call politics. You feel me? Uh -huh. You got lobbyists for garbage men. Like, come on, my nigga. Why you got lobbyists for a garbage man? <laughs> like, for real? They ain't getting their money? Uh -huh. And you got you to gotta get money from... Like, that's a whole different conversation. But y'all, you know, that's it, it's just crazy, bro. But, you know, just uh everybody man i want y'all to you know put your uh last remarks out on something like that you know and then we're gonna end it out man what y'all think about that sister, sister you oh you can go it's fine no i would love if the sister no no if the sister had the last word um that's that's how i want it um okay 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 i, I feel like first of all uh, just to just to thank y'all uh, for this opportunity for for minds to come together. Uh, what I want to see, or at least my last sense on on this issue, is uh just to hit home that when we compromise, that's what happens. Uh, and now it goes from compromising to being thrown a bone. And that's what we're looking at is they have ways to shut it up by throwing us a little something, but really shit. And I think my whole point is when we see past the idol worship, when we see past the attempts of throwing us little bones to get us shut the fuck up and we get past that, I think we're on our way. I know we're on our way, but it, it, but we have to see that we have to stop taking. Uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the sellout fee. Like we have to stick to our guns. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, there's just nothing to say about that. Like, we have to recognize the, the psychological implications and be able to get past that, be able to reverse engineer that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what else to say, man. Y'all, y'all say everything. Y'all some beautiful <laughs> people. I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? I'm just glad to be here, uh, with my right. peers. You know what I mean? Uh, last thing I want to point out as far as, Generation Z or the Millenniums, I love y'all because y'all got past a bias that our generation were so programmed to have. And that's important is to have that. Y'all have open channel. So no matter what uh, the, the criticism, I feel like it's beautiful that y'all have an open mind and y'all don't have the same biases. So that's what I'm learning from y'all. Uh, as we continue to put this together, we need that. And we also need to put terms so that we are all accepted, but there's terms with that. You know what I mean? It's like, I love everybody, but I'm this first and foremost, period. So why we're, I, I think that's something that constantly happens to us is while we're trying to speak our voice, they throw other groups to take away from our voice. You know what I mean? Like it went from, uh, black civil rights to minority rights. When we look at that, you're taken away from the group. Hmm. We got to hmm. figure that out or on how to remain a group. I feel like the, 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 it's not cliche to say unity. I don't know what else. That's just the first thing that comes from my third eye is like, we need to be together on the same page. I don't care what your religious orientation is, how much money you got. If you don't realize that you're quote unquote black in America, you can have a billion dollars. You just a billion dollar nigga. I don't know what to tell motherfuckers. Real talk. Hey, on the real. 
Well, uh, <laughs> I just want to say I I love all people to millenniums. You know, I'm Gen Z, but I I do respect millenniums. Like he said, um, I just want to thank you guys for this opportunity as well to come on and speak with my peers and just um, really voice my opinion on how I feel about certain topics and the world and economics and politics and so many things that really could go we could go on for hours about so thank you guys for this opportunity um what i what i think will fix this is basically what he said unity you know like they say you can't change the world unless you change yourself so when it comes to that i feel like we have to come together we have to start with the children the schools we have to do whatever we can and um really change ourselves and really change our communities and not really worry about if they're trying to help us or if they want to help us because at the end of the day you know jealous people don't really want to help you so to keep it short and clean and simple come together help our people unify unite and change the world <laughs> that's right beautiful right beautiful on. well i definitely want right to okay, thank y'all <laughs> um, like, <laughs> everybody put the piss up <laughs> god damn <laughs> but anyway we did uh, that's what it is yeah that's what it is and um thank y'all for coming through and uh being on this panel you know what i'm saying the first little series of on the real on start from the bottom this is esquire.com everybody if y'all watching i need y'all to go ahead and smash that like button like they say you know what i'm talking about and uh hit the bell notification for any uh new videos that we got popping up man for real we're gonna definitely dive in i think right now is a perfect time perfect opportunity to really just just start talking about it you know just start let's just start talking you know sometimes uh we all have these thoughts man you know what i'm saying we ain't the only people walking around thinking like you know this that, and the third or maybe have a suggestion that maybe it can help somebody else or whatever it is but um we got to start talking about it and i appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying salute to y'all and uh like salute I to everybody out there you know we're gonna um definitely keep on track with these topics uh i know I want to also introduce uh, Uriah. She's definitely going to be one of the, the people out here. You're going to see her popping up doing interviews and doing her thing e. from her side. <laughs> E.T., you know what I mean? Yes. And uh, definitely Master <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? He got he got some definitely some good points, so we're going to keep this on the real thing going. Um, and, yeah, everybody out there, um, stay blessed. Stay safe out here with all this, you know, CV stuff going on. And, uh Love your peoples, you know what I'm saying? Kiss your mama, kiss your girlfriend, kiss your wife, kiss your kids right now. Kiss, you know, say what's up to your homie you ain't talked to in a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get out their shell. Let's, let's, let's come together. And that being said, we out. <laughs>